Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So I have week three of my 2021 Project Life album here for you today. I have printed out all of my pictures using the Epson PM400 photo printer and I do write the dates on the back of these. Now if you'd like to see my process on how I batch print all of these, let me know down in the comments below and I will see if I can record that for you. Um, I am putting these in semi-chronological order. That's how I like to have it for my spread and I'm putting them in order here. Then I'm going to lay them out onto this cardstock that I have drawn the grids of the Design A page protectors. As I'm putting these photos down, you'll see that I have two areas where I have a three by four card in a four by six space. So I'm going to need four by six cards to, or journaling cards to back that area. And you'll see that I ran out of four by six cards from my Studio Calico documenter kit. Um, so I'm going to use some six by six cardstock that I have borrowed from a friend because <laughs> I didn't have mine with me. So I'm going through the three by four cards and my very left three by four is always my title, title card. And I just put the number of week it is, which number week it is, I should say. So I'm seeing where I want to do journaling cards and where I want to have filler cards. And you'll see I switched the left 3x4 card. Now here I picked two 6x6 um, six six cardstock that I borrowed from a friend, borrowed but won't be returning. And I'm using my tonic guillotine to cut them into 4x6 so I can back up the um, screenshots that I have of the Netflix videos that I binged on. So I'm going to back those up and I pick the yellow and I can't remember which six by six um, paper pad that's from. So I apologize for that. I'm using my black stays on ink to date all of my journaling or all of my photos, I should say. I'm going to do this first photo. It's all of my Amazon packages. I am using the One Canoe 2 roller dating, rotary date stamp. Now this kit came with all these plastic letters, which are so fun, but they don't give me enough letters. <laughs> so I do end up finding the letters to spell out Amazon, and I'm going to use a vellum adhesive to adhere the letters onto this photo. And I like to use the vellum adhesive because you can't see where the adhesive is on the plastic stickers. So I go ahead and spell Amazon and I'm going to put a chipboard there. And the chipboard says the good stuff. Thank goodness for Amazon Prime, especially during this pandemic when um, we couldn't go out very much. And I got too comfortable using Amazon Prime, just to tell you. But I'm now that the restrictions are lifting a little bit, I'm going to try to support the mom and pop shops more instead of purchasing just from Amazon. Now, I binged on the show Bridgerton. One of my girlfriends um, told me I needed to watch this, so I spelled out binge with the plastic letters that came from this kit. And now on this rainbow card, I'm going to um, number the week, so it's 03, and I'm using just some leftover numbers that I have from a Felicity Jane Alpha numeric um, puffy stickers. And then I'm going to put a triangle sticker there just to point to um, just the triangle sticker from the chipboards that I got. Now this picture of my daughter, I'm not going to journal anything, I'm just going to put a picture on there because why are they so cute when they're sleeping? Also, I took a picture of my coffee machine because uh, I live for coffee. <laughs> now, I tried to spell out work with this um, with the plastic stickers that came on, but I couldn't find the uh, the stickers, so I end up just date stamping it. And I'm going to journal on the labels that I use, the print and cut labels that are sold in the Studio Calico website. They are the labels that match the kit, so I always use my silhouette to print and cut these labels. And I wrote, I spend several hours a day working on my YouTube channels, recording, editing, voiceovers, and uploading. I do have two YouTube channels, one for this one and one for um, beauty. So I do work on my two channels every day, seven days a week. Yes, I do. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off the edge of the label because I do like to have my labels hanging off the edge of the photo. It brings more visual interest. And I'm using my Zebra Sarasa Vintage Dark Gray Pen. I like to use dark gray pens instead of black because it is not as stark in contrast to black 
ink, but it's still very visible. I use my tiny attacher to attach that label on to add more texture to the um, to the layout. And then I'm stapling a gold star that came with the kit. Now on this next photo, it's a photo of the morning school routine for Uni and Kaya. And I'm just using that on a label and cutting the edge of that as well. And I use my Tim Holtz scissors for that. Love Tim Holtz scissors. I've got a pair in my travel case and one pair or set, I should say, at home. And I'm using the tiny attacher for that as well. I do add a gold star to the journaling card that says love more. And then I'm going to work on the right side of my layout. Now this first photo is of my son making Rice Krispie treats. He's so sweet. He is, let's see, 13 years old in this picture. And my daughter wanted Rice Krispie treats, so he was so kind and made Rice Krispie treats for her. So on this journal, on this label, I wrote, Kaya wanted Rice Krispie treats and Zach was sweet to make it. And I do that and I staple that with the tiny attacher again for visual interest and texture to this um, layout. And I do date stamp that on the bottom left hand side using my One Canoe 2 rotary date stamp with stays on ink. Now this next show that I binged is called The Crown and I've been watching this since the beginning of time. My best friend um, from grade school told me to watch this show and I binged on this again. I watched a lot of Netflix this week. So I put spelled out the word love and put that on there using the vellum adhesive again. And this next uh, picture is of my daughter with her girlfriend and I wrote Kaya had her first play date where her friend Brooke was dropped off to play so this was her first drop off play date but it was at our house um, what started as a couple of hours turned into an all day plus pizza for dinner with her family <laughs> so it started off as a couple hours and they ended up staying all day and then the rest of the family came over for pizza for dinner <laughs> so I just journaled that and I'm going to date stamp that and then I'm going to also put a chipboard on top of the picture of my daughter with her girlfriend that says here for the photos and so after that I have that filler card with the flowers there and I'm just going to leave that there like that and then I'm going to work on the next photo and I put a chipboard that says love this and I am pointing it to my son and daughter how they lay when they're watching TV they're so sweet to each other and I hope they're sweet like this for their entire lives but if they're anything like my brothers and I were we fought like cats and dogs so I put another chipboard that says cool experience on the picture of my kids playing volleyball and there you have it that is my week three of my project life thank you so much for joining me don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time